Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is August 17th, 2023. I hope you've enjoyed a couple of our adventures the past two days, but we're going to settle it back down. Back to work. Just, just for a couple days. All right. Today's devotional is called Beautiful Righteousness from 2 Corinthians 3, 9. For if the ministry of condemnation had glory, the ministry of righteousness exceeds much more in glory. That's, that's great. Just sit right there for a while. Good yeah, time. I know. I was just like... Um, okay. Psalm 11. Sorry, I'm still... Mm. In the Lord put I my trust. How say you to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. I can stay right there for a while. I know. Below the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow and palm the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can be the right what what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try, the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous. But the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, mm. fire and brimstone, and in horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. That's it? That's all I get to read? Oh. That's it? Oh, I didn't know it was going to be a shorty. Okay. All right. Okay. And the Lord, in the Lord put I my trust. How say you to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? Nothing is as beautiful as righteousness. All the excellent glory is in him. All righteousness is in him. Everything that pertains to holiness and godliness everything that denounces and brings to death the carnal, everything that makes you know you have ceased to be forever, is found in the knowledge of the endless power in the risen Christ. Can we talk about Larry real quick? Yeah. I'm so sorry. That's okay. So yesterday we got to go through the cedars. Did, did I talk about Larry yesterday? You mentioned him. Um, yeah, you, you mentioned him, but you didn't talk any, any specifics. So Larry, his ministry evidently is going out into these cedars and just witnessing the people as they walk by. It was so cool. Yeah. It was so good. He's like nestled in the shade underneath. Yeah, he's in the his, trees. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful setting. And to he see just him sits there, there in a wheelchair and witnesses to people all day long. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. 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 Very soft, very soft spirit. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, where did I leave off? <laughs> it's okay. I think I think I left off there. As Paul wrote, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 When you come to the very essence of Christ's ministry, you see the righteousness of his purpose. The excellence of his ministry was the glory that covered him. His word was convincing, inflexible, divine, and eternal. It never failed. Oh, the righteousness of God. If Christ said it, it was there. Oh, that's so true. That's so true. Think back to Genesis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, like, because Larry mentioned that too yesterday, right? Who mentioned? Well, he spoke the word mm -hmm. and it came to be, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. He said it, and it stood fast. Psalm 33, 9. It was an unchangeable condition with him. When God spoke, it was done. Verse 9. And his righteousness abides. God must have us in his place of righteousness. We must be people of our word. People ought to be able to depend on our word. God is establishing righteousness in our hearts so that we will not exaggerate about anything. Mm -hmm. Jesus was true inwardly and outwardly. He is the way, the truth, and the life, John 14, 6. And on these things we can build. 
On these things we can pray. On these things we can live. When we know that our own hearts do not condemn us, 1 John 3.21, we can say to the mountain, be removed, Matthew 21.21. But when our own hearts condemn us, there is no power in prayer, no power in preaching, no power in anything. We are just sounding brass and clanging cymbals. 1 Corinthians 13.1 May God the Holy Spirit show us there must be a ministry of righteousness. We ought to stand by our word and abide by it. If we were cut in two, our persecutors should find pure gold right through us. That is what I call righteousness. Jesus was righteousness through and through. He is lovely. Oh, truly, he is beautiful. One thing God wants to establish in our hearts is the importance of being like him. Be like him in character. Don't be troubled so much about your outward appearance, but be more concerned about your heart. Makeup won't change the heart. All the adorning of silks and satins won't create purity. Beloved, if I was going down a road and I saw a foxtail sticking out of a hole, I wouldn't ask anybody what was inside. And if there is anything hanging outside of us, we know what is inside. Mm. Oh. God wants righteousness in the inward parts, purity through and through. The Bible is the plumb line of everything. And so may God the Holy Spirit bring us into that blessed ministry of righteousness. Amen. Glory to God. Thought for today. Unless we are lined right up with the word of God, we will fail in the measure in which we are not righteous. Okay, so yesterday we were talking to Larry and the Cedars. Um, <laughs> we know a couple Larrys, so this will be a great way to distinguish him. We got Larry to, and the Cedars. Larry and the Cedars. We got to talk about uh, miracles and healings. and He's been healed. I've been healed. Alex has been healed. So we've experienced the power of God. And uh, I brought up to him about... Um, when Jesus healed the man with his with the blind eyes, Jesus says, what do you see? And the man said, I see men as trees. And then uh, when I read that, I was going, I was praying one night and I was going over that. I see men as trees. I see men as trees. That's like a, like he got spiritually healed first before his eyesight got fully healed. And when I was repeating that, I see men as trees. I, it hit me. I see ministries. I see ministries. When I see different people, I see ministries. It was just a powerful moment. And I got to share that with Larry yesterday. Now I got to share it with you. <laughs> God bless you all. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.